But all right, so Spider Man across the Spider Verse, across the Spider Verse. Um, first impressions. I like. I always like to start with first impressions because I want to see what each of you think unadulterated thoughts. Oh, are. you get to pick. You get to go last. Okay. So he's yeah. he's like a he's gonna absorb all. I, I get to go last. Well, I'm the host. I wouldn't listen. No, I, agree, I wouldn't want to poison your impressionable brains. Me. I wouldn't want to poison your impressionable brains with my opinions. My strong opinions. I don't know if I can um, remember. My I opinion. know that I'm a master. I'm a master at convincing and at arguing my well, opinions. You should, you should be able to because you've been frustrated about people that have jumped to conclusions <laughs> no, without I have, understanding I have. some of the. Well, here's 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 the. So here's you go the deal first. Just going back to the first film, right? It was it was on Netflix for a long time. I avoided it because I didn't understand it. I didn't know. Hadn't followed the comic books for years, and I was really impressed with it when I saw it. I was like, "This is a really the first one." Like, this is really cool. I mean, when you're expecting something to be garbage, and it's phenomenal. I mean, it's like your expectations are totally blown away. And so the second one, then having caught up with a lot of the, uh, you know, got a, lot, a little bit of an education from, from you guys about the current series that are going on, I really like the second one. I mean, there were some, a couple moments that maybe some of the subliminal stuff that they were trying to throw that could have been left out, but I thought it was really great. And the cliffhanger, that didn't bother me at all. I think... And what I was talking to you about is that a lot of people, they're like I was, and they know nothing about what the hell a spider spider rex mm -hmm. is, you know? <laughs> spider rex. <laughs> they have no idea what this guy is. And so they're just like, oh, there's a, what's this? All these like, you know, 500 spider men and women and animals Things. running around. It's like, they don't understand it, you know? But I, th I thought it was great. What did you think? I loved it. Um, I... I, I, I... <clears throat> Okay, so there was something that you and I talked about early on about it after I watched it. The thing that annoyed me at first was how they handled Miguel, Spider-Man 2099. Yeah, he's kind of psychotic. And but, but you made a point to mention to me that that would probably not be the Spider-Man 2099 from the regular universe, from the, the movie universe. Well, what would that be, oh, Universe 1? Is that what they would call it? Whatever, whatever they would call it. Prime, the Prime universe, whatever you want to call it. He would not be the one that was in that universe and interacting with the Spider-Man, with Peter Parker and Ben Riley in that universe. And the Ben Riley in the movie would probably not be the same Ben Riley either. They would be from different, from different multiverses, because this is all across the multiverse. So the so none of it's it's easy to say that none of the characters in the Spider-Verse movie are actually from the primary universe. Not one of them. Which, which for me, makes more sense the way the story is progressing because that's the one universe that they haven't touched. That well, they haven't touched Toby, they haven't touched Garfield, and they haven't touched Holland. Those three Spider Mans, they've stayed out of those three territories. So the characters and the interactions between the regular timeline from the Marvel comics isn't really being done there, but they're using these characters from other multiverse locations, which gives them the freedom to make Spidey 2099 borderline psychotic and a couple other characters kind of out there. But I really liked it. I, I enjoyed how it went. And it's really, one of the things I really like about it is the fact that Miles Morales, when I first heard about him, I was like, I don't care about this character. And it was in the comics aspect. But after I saw the first Spider-Verse movie and now this movie, yeah. I really like how he's just not a carbon copy of all the other Spider-Mans. He doesn't have the same powers. He can turn invisible. He has some little different tweaks on his powers and it makes him unique and different yeah. while still being Spider-Man. And the fact that he can overcome all of this and still get away and be able to try and yeah. get to where he needs to be. I've, I really enjoyed it. And I like the fact that it at the, the way the end was, was perfect. It was like a comic book ending to what you have to wait for the next uh, right, right. issue. But this, these two sides that are forming, they are going to fight over him and he doesn't even know they're forming. That's like, just, I really, I really enjoyed where well, I it enjoyed went. It too. He's like the Anakin Skywalker of spider people. Really? What did you think? Really? Anakin Skywalker of spider people. Because Anakin Skywalker was the most well, see, powerful. I, 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 enjoy, I It's I like, for me, it's more of a most powerful, but he's pretty powerful. Look, I don't, everyone else is wrong. No, I'm just joking. I don't know. There's some, there's some pretty powerful Spider-Man out there. There's some pretty powerful. Well, look, he got away from I don't know what five hundred of them. Yeah, but there's ones like with the power, like the power of like basically Superman out the one there. The power What's the one with that like the the super like universe power, Mister Universe power, or whatever it was? Oh, that was the regular Spider-Man. He got a uh, 
the no, there's a one that's like an alternate universe Spider Man who has like not, not it's, it's something where he has. Hold like, on, did you say that there's an alternate universe? A, a different and multiverse. Not, yes, alternate They're universe. Alternate Spider-Man universes that 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 has like like because uh, he wears it's in the storyline. Um, he's got that crazy little star thing on his. Yeah, chest. because it's in the storyline when. Uh, when the uh, they're like the, they're hunting him, the spiders. There's the, like more Leonard yeah, and all those in guys. This original Spider Verse storyline story in Amazing right. Spider Man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's some crazy ones in there's there. There's some crazy like, ones. But yeah. anyway, anyways, I um, I'm not as like giant massive Spider Man fans like you, so I just enjoyed it as like overall movie. I thought it was pretty great. I love the I love the work they're doing with the animation. It's really cool oh, yeah. I, how they're like they're matching the animation to the characters, and, and you see like the cool kind of like vibe they're doing there. I, I really enjoy all that. And I think it uh, it's just a fun to me. It's just a fun movie. For me, it's just really fun, and then it has a sort of that sort of great ending where you're like, "All right, I, I hope the three measures up." Because usually they start to degrade. It doesn't seem to be, but usually they'll start to degrade as you start to get sequels and and I, et cetera, tra- tra- territory. I, but really, I hope three holds up. I really like the pieces they picked to team up with Spider Gwen with Gwen. That's gonna that is kind of working on his side, like. The Peter Parker Spider Man right. sweatpants from Peter the- B Parker. <laughs> yeah, sweatpants Peter Spider-Man. Peter D Parker. Or B, B. B Peter Parker. B Parker. And uh, that that you know, crew that they've got. I, I Spider Man really, War. Spider Man War. Cool. What's going on with the pregnant lady? I don't really get that. Jessica Drew. That is it is weird. Okay, so but she but her character, the main universe character, like was pregnant for a while in the comics so, as well. Do you do you know who Jessica Drew is? Let's just assume that Bone doesn't know who Jessica Drew is. Bone okay. knows. But let's just assume let's just explain. Let's explain it for the the people out there who don't. Okay, so Jessica Drew is the original 1970s Spider Woman, and uh, she was the character. While we, I don't want to backtrack too far, but in the Secret Invasion, she's the character that ends up being the Scroll oh, yeah, Queen. That's right. No, Scroll I didn't know that. But, uh, just... She was the original Spider Woman, and uh, yeah, this Jessica Drew is just an alternate multiverse version of Jessica Drew because she's considerably different from the original Jessica Drew. But she's interesting character. She's got different. She's got much more weirdly different powers. She has too. Different powers. She can like and... kind of fly sometimes. She has like stings. I don't, I don't think she she ever uses. I don't. I don't. I don't necessarily understand all her powers. Yeah, I, don't I never know. really sat down and, and read her backstory because she wasn't messing. She has a sister named Nancy. I don't know if you know Nancy Drew. Oh yeah, there's a and then the. Do you know who Nancy a, Drew is? I do know there's Nancy Drew. The the spider the second Spider Woman that wore the black and white with the blonde hair. She had these like psionic stings that she was a more of a psychic character and so they've 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 all been a little different